Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to share a post from a Facebook page to a group automatically. So let us begin with a small example. So as you can see, this is a Facebook page called as AnyTech Solution. So I'm going to paste a post here. And once the post is published on this particular page, it will be reflected as a post on this particular group. So this is the group name that is called as Yoga Session. So I'm going to add a post. So let me just add the post. Okay. And let me just click on post. So the post is getting published. So as you can see now the post has been published. So the idea is that this particular post, for example, few people have more than few hours per day. And the last line is get inspired gives them what they need. Okay. So let me just go to this particular group that is yoga session. So the idea is that the data that is this particular post will appear here automatically. So let me just uh, click on refresh. Okay, so as you can see, we have got the post. Okay, so this is the post in this uh, particular group that is yoga session. Few people and uh, get inspired gives them what they need. Okay, so we have got the same post that we have published here is automatically now entered as a post in this particular group. So you must be thinking, how did I do it? How did I manage to automatically send the data from a Facebook page to a Facebook group? So basically here I have used an integration and automation software called as Public Connect that integrates Facebook page to Facebook group. Now the best part of using Public Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Now there is something I have to tell you. While it looks like the data from Facebook page arrived immediately into Facebook group. But the truth is I had to actually pause it for 5 minutes. This is because Facebook actually takes an appreciable amount of time to send the data. So all you have to do is just wait for 5 or 6 minutes so that the data can arrive in your Facebook group from your Facebook page. Okay, so to begin the process in the new tab, just type pabli.com, p-a-b-b-l-y.com, pabli.com, press enter. So this is the website of uh, pabli.com, just uh, hover on products and here you will find connect, just click on connect. Okay, so this is the landing page of Pabli Connect. All you have to do is just click on sign in. So before you click on sign in, make sure that you build your account in Pabli Connect. In my case, I have already built my account. So I'm just quickly clicking on sign in. So this is the app section of Pabli. Let me just scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button create workflow. Click this a dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I am going to give it as Facebook page to Facebook group. Facebook page to Facebook group. And let me just click on create. So when you click on create, you will find two windows, the trigger window as well as the action window. So what's the deal with the trigger window as well as the action window? So when we are talking about automation in Public Connect, it works on the concept of triggers and action. The trigger says when this happens, then this action should follow. For example, if a new post is made in a Facebook page, the action is a Facebook post will be automatically created in a Facebook group. Okay, so this is the meaning of triggers and action. Now using the trigger window as well as the action window, we are going to create a workflow to integrate Facebook page to Facebook group. Now here there is something I have to tell you. Once we have integrated Facebook page to Facebook group using this workflow, I will make sure the link of this workflow is available in the description box so that you can clone it and directly access it into your account. Okay, so now in the trigger, how about we make it as Facebook? Okay, Facebook pages. And in the trigger event, how about we make it as new post? Simply just click on connect. We are going with a new connection and simply just click on connect with Facebook pages. Okay, so in my case, I have already logged into my Facebook account. So that is why authorization was done. Now by default, it is showing two fields, the page as well as the page access token. You can just simply ignore this particular page, this particular field that is page access token. We are going to focus on this particular field, the page. So these are all the pages that uh, is present in my Facebook account. Now the idea is that when I click on uh, a particular page, for example, this particular page, any text solution, and after that, when I click on save and send test request, it will fetch me the data of the recently created post in this particular page. So first of all, let me just uh, straight away take you to the Facebook pages. Okay, so let me just show you all the pages I have. So these are all the pages we have. Okay, and uh, all the pages that is present here is being reflected here. Okay, now out of all these pages, I have selected one particular page that is AnyTech Solution. This is that page, AnyTech Solution. 
Now the idea is that when I click on save and send test request, it will fetch me the detail of the recently created post. Now if you may remember the recently created post was of this one, few people have more than few hours and so and so. So what I'm going to do here is for your consideration, I'm going to create a new post. Okay, so let me just create a new post in this particular page, any tech solution. So this is basically the post. Okay, so this is about yoga. And uh, let me just click on post. Okay, so the post is getting pasted or posted on this particular page that is any tech solution. So okay, so the post has been made has been published. So the idea is that when I click on save and send test request, it will definitely show the details of this particular post. So it is starting with yoga. Okay, so let me do that. Let me just click on save and send test request. Okay, so as you can see, these are the details of the post. Okay, so we have all the details one by one. So these are the details and let me just uh, show you the message or basically the post details. So these are the details of the post. So the idea is that we are going to use this information to create a post in Facebook group. And this is how you do it. In the action window, you select Facebook group. Facebook group. Okay, so as you can see, we do have a ton of choices regarding Facebook, but we are interested in Facebook group. So we have selected it. Now in the action event, we just want to simply post a message and simply just click on connect. We are going with a new connection and simply just click on connect with Facebook groups. Okay, so authorization successful, excellent. Now by default, it is showing a ton of groups. Now all of these groups are present in my Facebook account and I'm interested in this particular group, yoga session. Now uh, this particular group, let me just take you there. Okay, that is yoga session. I actually have the administrator privileges. Okay, this is because uh, I have built this particular group. Okay, make sure that you have admin privileges to this particular group before you post the message. Now we have the message. So this is the message that we want. Okay, so this is the message we want. So all we have to do here is we are going to map this particular detail here. So you introduce the first accordion. Okay, and here you will find the message and you have mapped it. Now, if you have any link like uh, the YouTube link or the video link or the image link, you can just add here. But in my case, I went with a simple text message. So I'm just going to ignore this field. So at this point, all you have to do is just click on save and send test request to send this message to a Facebook group. So it is being done. Okay, so the response is a positive one. So let's have a look. Do we have this particular message? Okay, so let me just refresh this. Okay, so this is the group yoga sessions. And yes, we do have the message. Okay, excellent. So the presence of this message shows that we have a successful integration between Facebook page and Facebook group. Now before you leave, let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So let me just minimize the action window and let me just minimize the trigger window. So basically, this is the whole process in a nutshell. First you integrated Facebook pages to public connect and then you integrated public connect to Facebook group. So now there's a perfect flow of data between Facebook pages and Facebook group. Excellent. Not just these two apps, you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect and automate your business. Also, if you have any queries, please connect with us at admin at the rate If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. The link of Pabli Connect as well as the workflow is available in the description box. Thanks.